Hey, how's it going guys? Sean from Team Ronnie Badger here. Doing a deck profile on my Super Edition Bat Rose Victor deck. So this deck is like my new star deck. Um, very good, very counter blast efficient. Um, I built it differently than all the other decks that I've seen on YouTube, so I thought y'all might want to see it. So the starter I run is Rumble. Um, he's the Generation Break 1 Ridehorn. Um, so when something stands in front of him, he stands to, helps me fix my comms to hit high numbers. Um, I've seen some other people on the grade 3 searcher. Um, I honestly think Renbull is better. Just because of the free stand. Next I'm playing for Victor. So Victor's effect is Generation Blast 2. When he attacks a vanguard. He gets 5k and then choose stand one of my rearguards and give it plus 5k. So if you attack, it will <coughs> swing for 21, which is a perfect number, against 11k vanguard, which most c cards aren't. Next, I play 4 Marshall Strike. Um, I'm actually thinking of switching these out for Rhyme Bag, because that's what I've been playtesting lately. Um, his effect is Generation Blast 1. Um, when he attacks, counter blast two, st choose two of my regards, stand them, and they get plus 2k. So usually what I try to do is, if I have two Sansas in the front row, and they stand those swing for 16, which is decent numbers, decent numbers. And his other effect is when he's placed on the vanguard, counter blast one, soul blast one, um, choose a card on my field. With and retire uh, an opponent's regard who has equal or lesser power. Next, I'm playing four White Hank. White Hank is definitely one of the MVPs of the deck, so his effect is Generation Blast One. Um, when he attacks and he's boosted, when he attacks a Vanguard and he's boosted, choose one of my rear guards and stand. And keep in mind that. He's not restricted to standing white another. He's not restricted to not standing a white hank. So he could just stand another white hank and get off another. It's it's really fun to do that. Um, but keep in mind that it has to be boosted. Oh yeah, and the stud unit gets plus 5k. Um, next I play four of the MVP of the deck, Sazanda. Each time he stands, he gets plus 5k. making And the skill stacks. I could do an ultimate combo video, which lets me plus 5 in one turn. Not just pl plus 7 if you count the fields, if you count the guard. It's such a huge minus from your opponent and a plus 5 to my hand in one turn. And the main card that sets up, Starlight Hedgehog. Oops, took one too many cards. Starlight Hedgehog, um, you only need one of these to pull off that ultimate combo. Um, where you plus 5. Um, there is a lot of combo plays that you could do with this deck, but Starlight Hedgehog, definitely great card. So their effect is when she's placed on the rear, choose one of my other Nova rear guards and it gets the skill that when it stands, draw a card and unflip a damage. So really, if you stack these on Sazanda with my ultimate combo, it will help you unflip two and draw two a lot. Um... Next, I play for Super Extreme Battler Ashweed. His effect is when he's placed on the rear guard, reveal a grade 3, search my deck for a victor, and choose a card from your hand and discard it. Helps me get perfect stride fodder plus thing my deck of grade 3s. His secondary effect is in my hand, he's a grade 3 um, when I pay for stride, and on the field, yeah. So he's a very good 7k boost as well. Next, I play four perfect guards, Lady Cyclone. Um, honestly, I'm going back to Twin Blader because Lady Cyclone only protects the Vanguard. So, with Overlord the X being a full meta deck, I'd rather be safe than sorry, where I could just perfect guard the rear guard and not let them restand. Next, I play four Claydol Mechanic. Um, Claydol Mechanic just helps me get that. On flipping consistency that this deck needs. This deck is the way how I built the deck. It's really counter blast efficient. 
Um, plus with other cards like Red Lightning. We'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, it's one of the. This is one of the cards that I've carried with me since Blau. So I just really like him. Um, next I play two Final Wrench. Um, Final Wrench is really broken. <laughs> um, so. When something stands in front of him, the stud unit gets plus 4k. So let's say, you attack, count on someone stand, stand white Hank, he'll become a, using victor skill, he'll become a 18k attacker, which is very good. Next for triggers, I'm playing 8 crits. And then four of the crits are red lightning. So his effect is put the soul on flip one damage. Four draws. I see some people running stands. You don't need stands in this deck. This deck stands enough. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to explain that. Victor, um, when you stride over it, the, when the... Dragon unit attacks, counter blast one, stand one right rear, let's give it plus 5k. And of course, four heal. I don't know why Bush Road's making the heals look better every year. Um, and now for my G deck, I'm playing four, Victoplasma. He's the re standard of the deck, so he's very good. So his effect is, um,. Counter Blast 2 during the main phase. Main phase only. That's a mistake that I've made twice already. With fighting TCG Aaron. Shout him out. Um, I've gotten a lot of games done with this deck. And this is so far the build that I like. Um, Counter Blast 2. Flip a Victoplasma face up in my G zone. And if I have two or more face up units in the G zone. So I have to have shooting once. He gains the effect that he gets drive check minus one. So he loses triple drive and becomes twin. Um, at the end of the battle that this unit attack, discard two cards and stand him. Um, with a lot of research and stuff, I found that he's actually a minus, but in, t in fact, you kind of break even in a way, but he's a minus. So, yeah. So I play four of him, because he's the first three standing stride unit. It's high numbers. 26k each time it attacks. Next for my other G units. I'm playing two Vic Ten. He's my early mid game unit. Um, I just like his art and his effect is when he attacks, hits a Vanguard, choose one of my Nova Rears, stand it and give it five K. So yeah. Very good. Playing one Atmos. Atmos is just very powerful. Um a lot of my opponents don't see this coming. Um so his skill is when he attacks Counter Blast 1, he gets 10k. That's a lot, making him 36k unboosted. And next for my avatar, 1, Harmonic Messiah. I got this from a good friend of mine, and that's why I'm playing it. So, yeah, I don't think this will ever come out of my G deck. I just want to keep this 1 Harmonix. I don't want to get any more. So, yeah, that's my Mecha Battler deck. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, Please thumbs up, please subscribe. And I will make a separate video explaining all the combos that you can do with this deck. This deck isn't consistent by any means, but it is a lot of fun to play. Might be meta-worthy. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.